The forums have gone through tremendous change throughout time. As a matter of fact, we got a giant website upgrade just a few weeks ago. Progress. Over time, people slowly start to forget the site that came before it though. I kind of go over this in my other form related video, so check that out if you want more info on it. As for this video, I'm not going to be focusing on the site as a whole, but rather on older, earlier players who got their early boost on the form. People like Pit199, Link2012, Elite4W, and tons of others like them. These people helped to make the forums what they are today, and regardless of the future of the site, that will never change. Just like the site changes, the people that inhabit it also change. The people I mentioned have all left the forum and server community as a whole and have moved on to other things. I wanted to get to the bottom of things and figure out what happened to these people, so I decided to do a deep dive and research some old formers who are no longer active. Timestamps will be in the description if you want to jump to a specific person. Oldies, I think you're gonna like this journey. Let's start off with one you've likely heard of before. If you had to come up with a singular person who did the most to make Hypixel what it is today, this is the guy you should think of. Being one of the very first well-known members on the site, being unofficially credited with creating the concept of guilds, and being the first and one of only two players on the entire network to have a thread with 1 million plus views are just a few of the accomplishments this man has under his belt. Apart from being an old timer, Link is also shown to be an extremely talented redstone user and map maker. As of the time I am making this video, he has one publicly released map, Descent. Descent is a massive complete the monument map based entirely around the idea of old Hypixel and was ahead of its time in a lot of aspects, mostly the mobs. I got to beta test this map with a few others when it was nearly ready and a lot of it blew my mind. I was extremely sad to see this map not do well overall and as of now it remains his only publicly released map. I wanted to use this opportunity to basically ad advertise Descent. Please give it a try. It's massive, awesome, and you'll see several of your favorite Hypixel players scattered about in it. The map is a bit difficult, so it's understandable if you get turned away from it due to that, but please give it a chance. The sheer effort and size is unlike any Hypixel fan map before it. Descent would end up being his last big project associated with Hypixel, and he disappeared from the form shortly after. So where is he now? Surprisingly not that far away. Despite not playing Hypixel anymore, he still occasionally logs on the forums to check things out. He'll rarely respond to people on his profile and he even has a YouTube channel where, believe it or not, he still works in Minecraft to this day. Based on his last Minecraft stream on February 1st of 2020, he was actually getting ready to publish a second map called Virus Simulator. Despite saying he would publish it the day after, there is still no findable link to this map. Not on his Twitter, his Discord, nothing. Mysterious indeed. Uh. I don't know if I'm going to do it this evening or tomorrow. I'm supposed to apply to a job today and I haven't done so yet. So if this gets published tomorrow, wait, what is it today? It's Saturday today, isn't it? Oh, it's not good. It's supposed to be Friday. If it's Saturday today, I can publish it on a Sunday. And that'll give it some time to gain traction as well as just exist in the ether. Elite 4 walkthroughs is an interesting one. It's kind of hard to think about things to talk about when it comes down to Elite to be honest, but I'll try my best. Elite joined the forums a staggering 6 days after I did, and was basically a nicer, more energetic and caring version of all the dudes today who bicker with the forums and argue with everyone. He got his fame through stabbing people's arguments and absolutely 100% not by the faces he would upload to the forums as reaction pictures. Okay, Elite 4W face. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Elite increased his activity by 300% and before anyone knew it, he was suddenly among the top posters on the site, becoming the third person to reach 10,000 posts after 99 Flamey and me, as well as becoming one of the most followed formers on the site. He even has a YouTube channel where he'd upload Minecraft gameplay from the server as well as custom map. He'd always been a Pokemon fan and by the time mid 2015 rolled around, he'd clearly started to lose interest in Minecraft opting to shift his focus towards Pokemon, more specifically shiny hunting, where he's been dedicated ever since. As of March 2020, he has removed all traces of Minecraft from his YouTube channel where he continues to upload highlights from his shiny hunting. It is, however, still possible to find him in other players' videos as well as, in extreme rare cases, unlisted videos on his channel. Not sure if that's spreading anytime soon, but hi! You wanna make a jump for it? The fire's coming. 
He currently streams on Twitch and has seemed to put his Hypixel past behind him, stating in a rare post from 2017 about his hatred for himself during his time here. While it's disheartening to see, it's important to know people can move on from what they once loved. You should all go show him some support once this video ends and whenever he streams next. His Twitch and YouTube links will both be in the description below. Give him a shot. 99 Flamey was essentially the epic Urkana of yesteryear, except without spamming forum games. He became known for his incredible posting speed, for his frequent participation in Mafia games, and his participation in Mega Walls, among other things. 99 Flamey ended up out of nowhere becoming the very first person to surpass 10,000 posts on the forums, doing it in less than a year in October of 2014, as well as becoming top poster for over a year until your man here was able to take over in November of 2015. Flamey was beloved by a ton of people in off-topic Mega Walls and Vampire Z community. So what happened? In a thread from December 2014, he announced he was leaving the forums in a pretty strange way. In this thread, he took a stance against what he called niceness warriors on the forums, stating his hatred for them and even going as far to call out a single person in his thread. He stated that these people made him hate the forums and that he would be leaving due to them, putting in the end that, at least I went out with a bang. Most people disagreed with his approach to this and called him out on it, but still waved their farewells to him, as he was one of the more popular users at that time. About a month or so after this, a friend of his posted on his profile on Flamey's behalf, talking about his embarrassment for how his thread came out, rumors that spread about him being on alts, among other things. After logging in to post one more thing in January and May of 2015, he had been inactive for several months after. So where is he now? He's semi-active. He made a sort of reduced comeback to Mega Walls in the summer of 2016. He hasn't posted or logged into the server since summer of 2019, but he continues to be active on his Twitter 24-7. Based on his Twitter, he seems to be enjoying the new Animal Crossing and Pokemon, as well as retweeting literally every meme out there. Good to see he hasn't changed that much. Otherwise known as Cookie Monsters, Pit199 was, alongside with Link2012, one of the earlier well-known members on the site. He is believed to have popularized media on the Hypixel forums, becoming one of the first known artists to reside there. He was also on track to become among the top posters on the site, claiming the number one spot on a few different occasions. He announced to the community on March 4th, 2014 that he would be leaving the forum, although he would rejoin just a few days later. Pit's forum adventure is a bit similar to Link's when it comes to the present day. Despite semi retired at the end of 2014 due to personal life, he continues to be semi-active on a basis. He now goes by Trinigan, a name he changed to in mid-2015 and continues to respond to people who message him, being the only person in this video to have at least one post on the forums in 2020. Zman P788 is probably my most personal one on this list. Simply put, he was one of the first people I got to know on the forums, and probably the person I talked to the most. He was, again, one of the more active members on the forums. Me and him were in a lot of groups together, from the Team Rec Guild to the Builders Can Build Team, and we played a lot of maps together. He had a group YouTube channel called Dream Mine Team, which he ran alongside Luke Grind 12, Matt P. Stain, and Braves Fan 2282. The channel lasted about three months, with its last upload happening on February 1st, 2014, only a week before Z Man's disappearance. On February 9th, 2014, Z-Man abruptly made a thread stating he would not be on the forums anymore due to wanting to focus more on school and real life stuff. He talked about how his life changed from the server and how he was thankful. The lead up to this departure is kind of creepy in a way, especially due to how out of nowhere it was. His last profile message, I have to leave, is horror within itself honestly. He deleted his Twitter, he changed his forum signature before leaving, his YouTube channel team hasn't uploaded in 6 years, and he's nowhere to be found and no one really knows what happened to him either. I continue to miss him to this day, and I'm sure those that knew him continue to miss him as well. If anyone happens to have any info on his disappearance, let me know either in the comments or through a message on my forum profile. I'd love to check it out. Ruste, along with Pit199, brought the influence of art to the Hypixel forums. Being one of the first dedicated artists of the forums alongside Pit, Rusty quickly gained a following with his thread dedicated to all things art, which has gathered over 143,000 views as of March 2020. The thread is still pinned in the Creative Hub and can still be viewed and posted on today. Apart from sharing art of the forums and designing signatures and other forms of art for people, Rusty was also among the earliest people, alongside Link, to max out trophy points at 113 and become a well-known member. Where is he now? 
It's unsure. His last post on the forums came in April of 2018, which is actually awesome, is a post stating who he remembers on a list of forumers, and I'm one of them. His last login to the server was in early September of 2019, but the story gets weirder from there. His Twitter account is suspended, his Twitch account has either suspended or deleted, and his website is deleted as well. He has no other forms of social media apart from this forum page. If anyone knows what happened to Rust Day or what he's up to these days, let me know. I'd love to get the opportunity to talk to him again. The Hypixel server has had tons and tons of Hypixel staff come and go, and some became fan favorites due to their personality, activeness, among other things. One of the first noticeable staff members to reach this feed on the forums was Guru Gamers. Even when he applied, he was already considered a fan favorite to get the helper position, and not only got accepted and given helper, but quickly rose to moderator before the whole apply to be a moderator thing kicked in. As a moderator, he was loved throughout the community for his kindness, activeness, sense of humor, among other other thing. His retirement reason was a little unique from others as he retired from the position on November 2nd, 2014 due to making his own server. You couldn't be staff on another server while being staff on Hypixel. Yeah, if you don't follow me on Twitter or if you don't visit the Hypixel forums then you won't know that I am no longer a mod on Hypixel. One of the rules of being staff on Hypixel is that you're not supposed to be staff on another server because they want their staff to be dedicated. So this was something that I had to do. This was a risk that I had to take because I have always wanted to make my own server and the time has finally come that I am able to do that and I just I knew I had to do it um, and I knew that this would be the implications of that. So where is he now? He now goes by the name Adbo and continues to be semi-active on some sort of basic, mostly on the Hypixel forums and Twitter. Although he hasn't tweeted in over a year and a half or posted on the forums in about four months. He moved from his Guru Gamers channel to his Adbo channel where his last upload was three years ago. If you're lucky, writing on his forum profile might get you a response from him. You never know. Continuing on the path of former Hypixel staff, I now want to turn our attention to Naughty Alex. Naughty Alex was among the first moderators put in the staff application team. He'd review applications and then accept or deny them, and then copy paste his little required message to them. See, not everything back then was different. There was nothing truly special about him as an application team member. He didn't really stand out or do anything special, he was just kinda there. He wasn't even a moderator for long, retiring in November of 2013. He eventually revealed that he was actually demoted and didn't retire, which now makes sense in the long run. Unfortunately, he took the path that several former staff members take and became a bit of a toxic mess after retirement. He attempted to reapply and get help again shortly after, but got his application denied in an ironic fate. He did get accepted into the junior helper program later that year, but it didn't go any farther than that. He announced in a YouTube video that he'd stop being active on his old YouTube and talked about his boredom with the game and how he doesn't find a game made for 12 year olds fun anymore due to the lack of survival updates made by Mojang. I've sort of, I've played Minecraft since the nether was added in alpha and coming in October this year, that'll be four years I've played Minecraft and it's getting to a point now where Minecraft if there wasn't servers for Minecraft, Minecraft for me would have died and I would have like stopped playing Minecraft probably about a year to a year and a half ago. The game that Mojang have created is aimed at 12 pe people uh, like of the average age of 12 and in my opinion if you've got a game with people at the average age of 12 you need to do stuff to keep them interested in the game um, and when I say that I mean you need uh, stuff that's going to keep them from getting bored basically now a lot of children like 12 and under don't know about servers and how to use them and then obviously a lot do as well so it sort of swings its roundabouts but adding all of this stuff like um more command blocks to redstone it affects such a my uh such a minority um that i don't understand why they do it um uh, for me i really wish mojang would just sort of wake up and just start adding like more stuff that's going to change the way survival works and things like that but the way I'm looking at it is is that Mojang haven't added anything survivally to Minecraft I mean look at it diamonds the, the all diamond has been there for um, way way too long now like diamond has been the best thing for I don't even know how long so that kind of like is one of the reasons I haven't been uploading is because Minecraft started to lose its novelty for me 
Um, and I don't know if that's the same for anybody else. Shortly afterwards, he partnered with Zerain Gaming and started making videos with them for a short while, until his last video in June of 2014. Where is he now? He's been a bit back and forth on coming back and staying away. He now goes by the name Bad British Gamer and uses Twitter more than anything else. You can still find him there today. You can also rarely still find him on the Hypixel forums browsing around, though not nearly to the extent he used to. He also has a Twitch, but he rarely streams from there. Truroxy may not be known for an extensive message count or activeness, but she is known for two distinct things. Truroxy was, at one point, the user with the highest number of positive ratings for someone not a staff member or YouTuber, as well as the person with the most pages of profile messages for someone who, again, was not a staff member or YouTuber. Truroxy was mostly active around the same time everyone in this video was. Truroxy was known for her kindness and compassion when it came to interacting with members. Consider Truroxy to be an older, more true, and flesh-blood version of the Kift account. Unlike the Kift account, whose people just spam the profile to get it to a specific number of messages and likes, creating a ton of unnecessary drama, toxicness, and controversy, the people who posted on Truroxy's profile were, for the most part, genuine and real and free of drama. Her profile is full of inspiring messages from people who were truly moved by her time on the forums and how some of the things she said really did inspire them to be better people. If you're feeling down at all, especially at this time, I'd recommend going to her profile and just reading some of the messages she would write and what people would respond with. So where are they now? Well, Truoxy is basically still here. Unlike most everyone else in this list, Truoxy has never really announced that she was gonna leave. She's been through most of it, pretty much. She would continue to respond to people throughout 2016, 17, 18, and even 19. Despite her most recent appearance and post being in 2019, she still continues to be active on her Twitter under her same forum name. Working on this video made me realize so many things. First off, people grow old extremely fast. I knew most of these people when they were 13, 15, 16, and now nearly all of them are adults in their 20s working. It's scary to realize how fast that went by. All of my friends from that old era, apart from one or two, have moved on to other things in the real world. Who knows, maybe one of them is now married? It could be a possibility. I only covered 9 old formers in this video, and there are countless more that I could have picked from. If you guys would like to see a part 2 for this video, leave a like and comment, and I might do it. Leave some suggestions for who you think I should research next. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you guys have a safe night.